Welcome back, guys. So I've been spending a whole lot of time just trying to find ways to be creative away from the computer, right? In the form of Eurac modules, outboard gear, and even acoustic instruments, uh, making sounds and just getting inspired. And I can attest to just how much fun it's been, uh, almost therapeutic. But at the end of the day, I did want a bit more formalized workflow to get some of these sounds back into the computer. I wanted a little more structure than just some unsynced massive files at the end of the day. In fact, if you have any tips on how you gather your rack module sounds during your improv sessions and whatnot, and how you get back uh, those sounds into the computer, as well as how you integrate them into formalized production processes, I would love to know. I'm sure there's still some tweaks to be made to this workflow, but generally speaking, I'm pretty happy with the results so far. When I blew up my studio just a few months ago, one of the things that I did was to reorganize my setup so that I had this singular area where I could just focus on the work in the box. But with my Eurac modules, I wanted a place away from the computer uh, where I can just focus on creating patches. Uh, and not be distracted by anything else. But as I found out, of course, I hooked it up to the computer as the saying goes. Uh, I eventually wanted to have it be integrated with my computer in tempo, in sync, as a track, uh, right inside the sessions that I was writing my music in. And this is one of the big reasons why I love Apple's logic so much. Uh, its ability to easily manage so much of my gear and my processes uh, into this single uh, workstation environment. So here is my Decker's voice, but the star of the show is really this module right here, the UMIDI by IntelliGel. This uh, module basically talks to my Mac Pro and Apple's Logic, a MIDI to CV URAC interface and it's pretty straightforward. Now, the only real tricky part was that because my Mac Pro was all the way on the other side of the room and physically it's almost, I wanna say 20 feet away, you need to be using some kind of an active USB cable because anything beyond 15 feet is not recommended. There can be signal degradation that can cause errors and quite frankly, weird behavior. So. I'm running this active USB cable from the Mac Pro all the way back to the UMIDI interface here. From here, uh, inside Logic, uh, UMIDI should just show up. And with the UMIDI interface linked up with Logic, I can now have access to all of my URAC modules. I can send clock data, gate, and uh, have it be fully integrated from Logic. Okay, one other thing that I want to mention is that within Logic's MIDI project preferences, you need to check that box that says clock on it uh, with the corresponding module, in this case, uh, the UMIDI. Otherwise, uh, Logic won't be sending out any clock data and none of this will uh, work. So yeah, be sure to do that. Back to Decker's voice. Now we need to get the audio signal from Decker's voice into Logic so we can record it as a, a track or whatever. But first we need a module that will convert the Eurac audio signals into proper line level signals. And that's when this audio IO interface comes in handy. You will need something like this or anything similar because Without this conversion, you can possibly damage your audio gear because audio signals from your X signals run at a much higher voltage. Inversely, if you want to use non-modular, non-Eurac external gear such as guitar pedals and have them be integrated into Eurac modules, you will need to up-convert them using a module like this. Otherwise, there won't be enough uh, gain for you to be able to work with. If you want to know more about this, I will uh, link some sites below that explains it way more in depth. So now from uh, this module here, the line level signal gets fed directly into my 
uh, Rupert Neves direct box. And then from there, it will be digitized to my uh, UAD Audio Apollo uh, interface. And finally, of course, the big uh, treat of this entire process is I get to uh, uh, use my UAD uh, Unison plugins to add some nice saturation and color to all my analog sounds that I track into Logic. Like most home studios, uh, I'm still working through how to best leverage uh, my UROC modules into my creative process. Uh, just getting these physical connections worked out, uh, but also trying to figure out how I can reach for them and uh, also keep the studio tidy and organized is definitely a challenge. One thing, for example, that I immediately figured out was I kind of need a little keyboard next to my URAC modules as I'm tweaking the knobs and such because my computer was so far away. These kinds of tweaks, working through the physical workflow of a home studio, it can be a huge distraction if you're not careful. So a good enough solution that's time efficient is probably way better than anything super obsessive compulsive. Uh, in this rabbit hole of uh, perfectly optimizing your home studio. I know I'm guilty of it. So it's easier said than done, but uh, especially when our studios are so personal to each one of us. But hopefully this is useful to you guys. And uh, if you guys have any thoughts on how to optimize your workflow, especially when it comes to like digitizing and getting your rock module sounds in the box and out of the box, uh, how are you using it and how is it impacting your workflow? Uh, I would love to know and uh, uh, I will see you guys next time.